we're just doing the sausage bread for right now, trying to uh, wait for everybody to join us. And uh, about what we do in the flaming stove, we love to uh, make old traditions alive, keep them going. Sausage bread is one of the things that we love to do and we love to keep doing. So we could create our shawarma and falafel wraps with it. It is not something that uh, was easy to do, but we kept after it and we did it. And now we do it all the time. And soon when everyone joins us, we're going to be trying to uh, show you how we do something that we really, I personally really like, which is the uh, vegan style sweet uh, rolled anise and turmeric. Uh, I'm doing it vegan style this time, so it will be up to uh, standard to what I believe in, which is the more we are closer to eating less of the uh, things that pollute the earth, the better we are, and the more we are trying to be conscious about these things, it's better. And it's delicious, that's another thing. So, welcome again. And if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. I will try to uh, answer as many questions as I can. Um, I'm going to be trying to log in right now to see everyone and try to uh, engage with you live. And also, let me mention that uh, through all, all of these events with the Toronto uh, Palestinian Film Festival, uh, they are also, and we are supporting them in donation for different events and charities that they support. Uh, I really encourage anyone to go in and try to find that on their web page, go follow the link, and if you can, be generous and donate, that would be fantastic, and we'd really appreciate it. So I'm just going to try to log in. Someone could, uh, if someone just click, click one of the phones and just try to log in on this one so I could get both of them because I'm not able to log in on this one. Here, I'll take this. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you the different ingredients that we're gonna be using today. Um, today we're gonna be uh, doing a uh, different take on something old uh, we need if you want to know and I will leave the recipe too we need flour we need sugar we need anise uh, um, seeds uh, we're gonna need some water of course yeast and we're gonna need uh, some vegetable oil you could use also if you want to use uh, different oils that is also okay um, I'm using today also for enhancement of the taste um, I'm using uh, um, uh, uh, Arabic gum, they call this um, uh, mistaka, Arabic gum, and um, I'm also using uh, fenugreek, uh, which is halbi in Arabic, and we are using also turmeric. Uh, turmeric is great; I like it. It's very healthy, and it adds another a nice color to it. And uh, that's about it. So let's see if there is. Uh... There we go. We'll go back to live. Uh, where is uh, how do you turn this can you turn this back to to you just turn the camera back okay. yeah that's it do we have some do we have oh it's not turned around okay i'll turn it around sorry guys we're not experts in this. Here you go. That's Razi. Everyone says hi to Razi. Should we start?
I can see. I cannot see so far if there's any questions. I cannot see anything. Clear. My computer just decided not to uh, show that. Uh, do we have any questions? Just in case, if there is, someone would tell me. Um, in the meanwhile, I will do some more bread just to add more people to the uh, fold before we start giving the recipe away. And uh, hopefully, uh, we will be able to accomplish the result. And uh, Raz, you'll tell me when we could, uh, go to the next step, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. We're fixing it, guys. We're we're getting we're getting better. Still working some technical issues in here in the uh, live feed. I don't know if people in Instagram, if you guys could see us or not. Uh, We're just waiting for Instagram to go on and then we should start. I'm going to check it in a second. Just give me a second. I'll check the Instagram. So I go. Alright. Should be right now. We should be right now. Yeah. If someone's watching us on Instagram, okay, it's fine now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, guys. Not that we are. Not that we are at the flaming stove experts in any of this. This is our first try, so I am sure people could understand that. But you know, this is special circumstances that calls for special kind of you know uh, a new way of doing things. And and virtual is the new way, I guess. And uh, we're try trying our best, but. I am sure everyone's going to be okay in the end. Uh, let's see if I can see now where we at. And I just need to see. Okay. And I can't get it to heal on my phone yet. Okay, so I cannot see Instagram, but I can see Facebook. So I don't know. Here, I'll give it to someone. If you could try to see if you could go live on Instagram and give it back to me. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with a little bit on the ingredients and the recipes and starting to prepare things because we need to do that. And then if there's any anything else that we have questions of, we will, we will take those questions as they, as they do. So first thing we need is to gather all the ingredients. This is the most important step, is, is not to go halfway and start gathering ingredients. One of the first steps that we have to do is the stuff that takes a little bit longer than the usual. Um, yeast, yeast needs a little bit of time. So what, I, what we need to do is we need to start with the yeast, 
put it a uh, little bit of uh, hot water or warm water, not hot actually, a little bit warm water. Uh, we need a little bit sugar. So I have already in here, I have two teaspoons of uh, yeast. I use just dry yeast. Uh, you could use live yeast if you can. If you have, that's even better. Um, we're gonna be pouring a little bit of water. I have two and a half cups of water in here and I'm gonna use this cautiously even when I mix everything together because I might not need the whole thing and this is important. So we're gonna add a little bit of that water in here and just swirl it around to get the yeast going. And then I will just close it, cover it if you have a cover and just away from light will be the best result. This way it'll sit and it'll do its thing. Now the thing that I need to prepare before we start is the Arabic gum, the mystica. Uh, this is important that we, you know, grind this. I have a special grinder that I use, uh, a horn. Um, you can use uh, your, your one, two, three pulsing grinder. That also you can do. Um, so we, we don't use a lot of these. About four or five pieces of this should be more than enough. Uh, otherwise it goes to bitterness. And when we use this, we usually are um, also going to be adding a little bit of sugar to help the grinding process. So this is for that. And just check. Hello, Adi. And to grind this, it's just about a circular movement. You just keep going like this until you get a powdery uh, uh, feel. So you can check it now. It's getting there, but there's still some pieces in there, so I'm gonna grind even more. And then we'll check again into it. See, it's becoming powder, and it should be enough now. And I could add this right away to the flour, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm gonna use a different board for that. And the other thing that I'm gonna use is the fenugreek, which is this, it's a seed. It helps to, it helps in the aroma of the uh, flower. When you bake it, it gives it a nice uh, aroma. It's the same thing that the uh, Arabic gum does. Optional, you don't have to use it if you don't have it. It's not a big deal. You could use vanilla if you want, you could use anything else. It's all, it's all gonna work. For this one, you need to use the pulsing. And again, we don't want a lot of this, but Okay. So we keep going. So we 
Ziadic turmeric. In turmeric, turmeric is great. It's uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's an excellent. Uh, it's an excellent spice for any occasion, uh, in my opinion. Also, it's important to add a little bit of salt. Just a tiny bit of salt will enhance all the ingredients uh, flavor. And finally, the uh, fennel seeds. Yeah. And the sugar, of course. There's also yeah, here one cup of sugar, one cup of fennel seed. And for this one, to mix it, I, I really uh, need to wear gloves just because of the uh, turmeric. Uh, it, will, it will make your hands yellow and not very desirable. So, I would highly recommend that you do use that. Otherwise, you use your hands, you need to wash really well after that immediately because it will, it will stain your hands. All right, so, you mix the dry ingredients really well first. It's a very simple recipe. Anyone can do this, I, I promise you. It's one of the simplest things you can do. And then we're gonna more or less make a well in the in the middle. And the first thing I will add to it is the uh, is the yeast, water, and I'm not gonna add all the water. I'm gonna be adding most of the water and leave a little bit of the water out. So two and a half cups, you're gonna use two and a little bit of the half and leave the rest. One cup of oil. And easy peasy after that. Just gather the sides and just mix it. It's the best job in the world is to mix dough. There's nothing better than that. Always feels good. That's why I think it brings us to be kids again where we play with uh, Play-Doh and it's just now we are actually professionals. All right. Yes, the, the buns are vegan, and what we're making here is vegan. So now I'm feeling it that it needs more water. I am adding more water. I had a question in here about if it's vegan. Yes, it is. And um, we'll keep mixing till all the ingredients come together. And we need, for this one, we need a little bit of a wet dough. We don't need it to be dry. So that's why it depends on how much the flour is dry. You add to this and you keep just mixing it, but you also want it to stick in the bottom. So that's how you know it's a wet dough. If you're doing any other kind of bread uh, or bun or anything, you might not want that because it's not, desirable but here they, the seeds will drink some of that water so it will it will actually work in the end so as you see we're we're sticking in the bottom it's it's wet it's not dry it's not smooth kind of kind of feel to it and that's what we want to accomplish and then to do this one at this point you need to more or less, brush it with a little bit of oil and the side in here and then I'll, I'll just move it around so it doesn't stick anymore and we need to cover this and we need to let it to rest for an hour this is, this is part of the recipe that will take the longest is there is an hour for resting so it will actually the yeast will work and then after that one hour we need to cut it roll it and then we leave it for about an hour to hour and a half depends on how warm is the place that you leave it in the baking is easy it's about 10-15 minutes and you can get that done really easy so i'm going to cover this i have i have one i have one that's already ready that I'm gonna get out and move to the next stage. So this one is already 
been waiting for an hour for us to do. And uh, hello, Reham. And this one here, what we need to do at this point is we need to get the air out of it again. So what we do for this one, can you get me a tray with a, uh, with a sheet, please? So what we need to do is we need to actually go back and, and destroy everything that happened in there. All the air has to come out again. So you're, you're, you're gonna not wait for it. You're just gonna go at it. And by the, by the point that you feel that it's actually back to where there's no air in that, we're gonna start the process of cutting it into pieces. And to cut it into pieces, it's, it's up to you what, whatever you desire. Uh, you could cut it into big pieces, it will make you a big roll, or you could cut it into small pieces. I, I prefer 75 grams to 100 grams, which just makes for you a small bun like that. I think that's more than enough. Uh, but it's, it's not really the rule. The rule is whatever you, you feel like it. So, you need, thank you. So we're rolling them and leaving them in there. And we're gonna do all of those until the point where we are gonna finish that and let cover them and let them rest for 15 minutes, only 15 minutes for that to be invested, the rest. And after that, we will be able to roll them into this shape, which is what you see in here. Um, you can roll them in any shape you want. Some people don't, some people do. I think that this is more what I like easy to do and it makes it look really nice. All right. Um, there's a train there. Oh, can you have a minute? There's a train there that I needed after. I'm going to call for it. I have had one that's rented for, not yet, just uncover it and make it ready for me. I have one that's already rested for 15 minutes, just so we will cut on the uh, time that we have to wait for between each one and one. And this way we'll be able to jump into making actually the rolls. All right, so one of the things about um, this bun that I that I like is uh, they're just. They're just telling me I still don't have a feed from Instagram, uh, but that's but not, not, not that I could see it. There is a feed, but I, I, I cannot see it. Uh, it's okay. I, I, it's okay. We'll, we'll just stick with what we see in here. We have uh, a little bit of a uh, difficult seeing all the questions, but um, my dad just joined in. Hi, dad. I have a lot of people watching from back home. Although back home, people who, who know how to do this very well. But you know, we have a lot of time nowadays in our hand that we could do anything and everything over and over again. So I believe if you do something for about, what's let's say, if you do it five times, you become, you become really good at it. So don't give up if in the first time it doesn't turn good, or the second, or the third. All you have to do is just keep trying. And um, <laughs> anyone have any questions? I'm more than happy to answer if there's such. Uh, 
And one of the things that I also like about this is it's just the simplicity of it. Uh, it has very simple ingredients, ingredients that's close to, to the earth. Uh, it's ingredients that we find in usual day life in back home. Uh, you know, the seeds are available, the flour is available, the sugar is available. Uh, and, and really people don't have a lot of options sometimes in there. And they do what they have, but they do it really in, in a very creative way. And becomes very um, much a tradition. All right, so we are almost done rolling these. And uh, the next step is just to tie them and make them to rolls. We let them rest for about an hour. And after the hour they rest, uh, we take them at 350 or 350 is good enough. 375 if you don't have a very strong oven. Uh, I would recommend that you put them for the first um, seven, eight minutes and then roll them around and then put them for another five minutes and then check them, roll them around. Always check them in the bottom. If they are uh, getting uh, color in the bottom, uh, that means they're getting slowly to the point where they're going to be very well uh, cooked. You just need to wait until they get some color on the top. Uh, not necessarily, but that's that would be the best result. If you get a color from the bottom and a color from the top. Uh, you could, if you don't want it to do it vegan, you could egg wash them. Uh, that would be another option. I need the other tray from the cooler. Uh, cooler. How much? Another two. Cooler. I have another one in the cooler like that. So, anyhow, I let's 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 see this. By the time he gives me the uh, the tray that I have already prepared. Uh, Okay, sure, sure, yeah, I'll take that one. Okay, uh, let's say we rested this in for 15 minutes, and uh, after 15 minutes, we're gonna try to roll them out. Okay, it's okay, don't worry about it, it doesn't make any difference. Next one. We can do this, it's not a big deal. Alright. I'm just organizing my chair a little bit. So I just want to show you the part how we roll this. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a tricky part that it is important that uh, I show you this if you want to do a roll because there's a few ways to do this and some of them easier than others and some of them is harder than others. Okay, so when you get the roll and you want to do a twist in it, uh, you, you, you take the roll like that and you just go with your hands and just mark it where it's a bigger piece and a smaller piece. If you do that, then you take this and you open the circle in that, open it, and then you just wanna push this through in here, and that gives you that, that result, which is a bun. So we'll do this a few times. Do you, someone's asking me is, um, do you, oh, that's actually Melissa, hi Melissa. Do you put anything on on them once they are uh, finished, like this? You can, you could put, if you want, you can, uh, but not necessarily, they're sweet enough. Uh, if you want to glaze them, you can, but then they become sticky, and I find that they don't uh, keep very well that way. Um, there's another question. Uh, we changed the amount of sugar. Oops, I, I lost that one. Sorry, let me go back to that one. Change the texture. It will change the texture from what? Like okay, 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 what okay, less sugar. Okay. We'll change the amount of sugar, less, change the. No, it doesn't. You could make this actually with no sugar. You don't have to. Uh, sugar is. This this bun is not very sweet, by the way. Uh, it is it is quite uh, mild in taste. I would I would describe it as like a scone. Uh, that's the closest thing uh, that I could uh, remember right now. Or. Uh, uh, you could do less sugar, or you could do without sugar. It makes no difference, actually. Um, you could add, you could add uh, sugar, uh, or or not. That's a choice of yours. So again, we make we make it such as we open this and we move this bowl into this, and here we go. And that's how it goes. All right. Okay, I'm just checking in here. All right, so one more time. Thank you, Nasreen, for the support. Okay, so again, we're rolling these. 
opening up going this through here and that gives you that hole. I don't know if this is easy and clear. And here we go. And if you don't want to do that roll, you don't have to do that roll. There is another way to do this. Uh, I'll show you another different type of way to do this. Okay, I thought I have. There's usually a stamp that you could use in this, but if you want to use, I, I don't have it right now, I thought I have it in here. But if you have a stamp, let's say, I don't have a stamp, I, I will mark this. You could mark this in any shape or form, like a hot cross bun. And you could do that and just put it as such, and that will work too. So it's whatever you desire. But if you're doing a mark on it, you should not um, you should not put a lot of yeast in it because yeast will make the mark go away. So put less yeast. It'll be a little bit denser, but it will work. But for for a fluffy uh, bun, you need to either have it twisted or keep it rolled. It's up to you. <laughs> well, it's, it's someone saying. Well, actually, that's uh, that's my uh, I. Uh, it, it is important. It is important to. Um, someone's asking. It is important actually to uh, to, to let these uh, rest beforehand. I used them right away because I didn't I didn't find the one tray that I left in the side. Uh, it just got lost. I think in the back they couldn't find it. So I'm using it right away. It's easier if you do actually leave it and uh, for 15 minutes only. Just let the uh, the dough rest and then from that point on. on you will be able to work it a little bit easier. Although I'm finding that this is not bad, actually. I'm, I'm able to work it in a very uh, manageable way. So 15 minutes, if you have a hard time with it, it'll be better. If not, then you are good to go. All right, so here we go again. And we're back. So when we finish this tray, we have two options. One of the options is to glaze it with uh, with eggs. One of the options is not to glaze it with eggs. Uh, you could just brush it with oil. Uh, it, it, the difference is very simple. The difference is that the eggs will give you a little bit more of a shine. The uh, oil will give you a less of a shine. Um, that's the only difference that I found. If you keep it vegan, then you cannot use the eggs. Uh, but otherwise, if you don't care, then you could use the eggs, and that will be that. Some people also in this recipe, they put eggs and they put milk. It's possible, but it changes also the texture. I find that the texture is the nicest when it's actually with none of these ingredients. So we are on the last one in here. Uh, the Arabic gum, you could buy it in any, um, any spice store. Uh, online, nowadays, I'm sure it is, you will find it in Amazon. And uh, it's it's pretty much online. You can find anything nowadays. I, I had uh, I had a uh, few times that I couldn't find anything that I wanted particular for recipes, and I would go online. And usually Amazon is great; they have it. Uh, it's good. Um, but if you are in, in an area where there's uh, Middle Eastern stores, you definitely will be finding this, no problem. So we finish with that. Usually this is gonna be covered, and uh, usually if you wanna cover it, I would advise that. You do actually, you know, put some oil on it so it doesn't stick to whatever you're gonna cover it with. If you have, um, if you have oven paper, it is the easiest thing to put it with a cover it with a oven paper. And um, thank you. Okay. and then after that, when you when you when it when it rises. It will be, you will be able to remove the paper much easier than not. So cover it with that. You can cover it with a plastic after because now it's not going to stick. And you can leave it, you know, anyone can leave it in, in where it is or somewhere warm. The best place is the warmer it is, the easier it is. Because it will rise better. It becomes it becomes fluffy and it becomes airy. And, and then when you, when you open it, it becomes full of, uh, you know, air pockets that gives you that nice texture and doesn't stick to your, uh, to your mouth when you chew it. 
So I will show you the one that we have already. Those ones in here, they already rose uh, to the point where, and I did them without the twist, uh, they rose, and I will be able to actually do them in a different way, and I kept them in this way for a different slide. So what I did with these is I left them, so I will put just an indentation in there, like this, and say like a, like a um, gaki, we call it. Uh, or a donut in English. In and that's another way of doing it. But this I cannot do unless it's done like that. And then I brush it and I put it in the oven. And that's another way of simply doing this without twisting or doing any of those things. And that will work. It's just like that. And then again in the oven. Preheated oven, 350 degrees would be the best. Seven minutes first, open it, turn around, put it another five minutes, guaranteed it's not gonna be done by seven minutes, but you just don't want the heat to hit one side, the oven is never even. And then after that, you check the bottom, if the bottom is getting ready, or it's, it's getting red, then you are absolutely gonna try to see that the heat is more to the top, so you get a little bit more red in the bottom. So it shouldn't take more than uh, 13 to 15 minutes, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 minutes, depends on your oven. Otherwise, it should be all there. Um, like donut or bagel, uh, my wife is telling me hi. Uh, my wife, by the way, my wife will not be very proud of me making that, yes, uh, definitely not. And uh, I will be tidying up and cleaning up, I promise you. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is basically what I, what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I again want to uh, stress out, if you are uh, home, uh, stay home, try to be as vis vigilant of what's going on, uh, it's a time period that we will pass, we are you know, trying to survive in the circumstances as a restaurant, it's very difficult, but we will pass this, and uh, hopefully everyone uh, understand that a uh, few more weeks hopefully we will be all out back to our normal lives, in the meanwhile, Stay virtually in touch. I think this is the best way to do it. I don't need my uh, glass now. And uh, you know, um, uh, hopefully also you will support the uh, Toronto Palestinian Film Festival and donate to their charity. That would be, it's, it's important at this time to keep our uh, um, uh, charities working while we are in most difficult times, especially for maybe uh, cars. Um, if there's any questions, uh, yeah, the recipe I will be writing, uh, <laughs> I added, uh, the recipe will, I'll be writing uh, uh, in the end, I'll post it, uh, most certainly, but uh, otherwise it's an easy recipe, uh, when, when, when you start doing it, you'll find out that it's actually easy. Huh? Final product, sure, the last minute sure final product. Okay. Uh, this is the final product, and uh, it's delicious. You can eat this uh, uh, with jam. Uh, jam, or you can eat this with uh, uh, jibna arabi, which is a, uh, a Arabic cheese. Uh, it's fantastic. The play on sweet and sour is fantastic. Or you can eat it as is. I think eating it as is is the best for me. Uh, uh, we're going to be signing out since there's no questions and there's, there is any questions. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Adi. It was great to have all of you guys. It's our first try. I don't think we did so badly. We had some confusions in the beginning about uh, connecting or not connecting, but we're humans. And uh, we got uh, hopefully to where we want to get. Just connecting with our friends, our uh, community, and uh, saying hi to everybody and stay in touch. And uh, hopefully, we will be all out of all of this. Corona uh, thing, and we will be healthy and happy again. Thank you, and sign off. Cheers.